Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamped AF. If you have followed me for any time, you know that I usually do not start a video with this kind of a mess on my desk, but I just could not wait to show you. I just had to get right to it. So I made this super cute little card holder and I was inspired by a US demonstrator, Marissa Alvarez of Kitchen Table Stamper. And she, both of us, had purchased the playing cards from Dollar Tree and they come in a two pack but once you open this up, you've got no packaging. You would have to use like a rubber band. So I had thought, okay, Marissa created a cute little box and I thought I wanna do something like that, but different. I mean, we all like to case, right? But I wanna make something mine. So I woke up thinking about the rectangle tins that are in the new August to December mini catalog. And I wondered, sat there and wondered if they were going to fit and I will tell you it is a very tight squeeze but I wanted something that was durable and when we go to visit my dad my mom and dad we always play games so I thought mm, I want to make something so that I can give it to them so that they've got a nice pack of a deck of cards and I've used some current and some upcoming product so this is from the Game On stamp set. It's the Royal Flush there. And then I've got Lucky Me because I have you. And then I'm using the black glitter paper, which is in the new catalog and it is beautiful. It's like a basic black on the back and then it's got this gorgeous shimmer on the front. I've used the new red velvet paper that is in the upcoming catalog and it is like soft as a pillow. And then I've used, this is from the Playful Pets trim combo pack. It needs more of a glue dot. And I die cut from the hearts bundle, this little heart spray, if you will. And I used adhesive sheets with the red velvet and just added a couple of those. Now, I had started thinking, okay, well, let's do just kind of a cover for this. And I used the new red foil sheets and the new red velvet and I don't know, something about it, it looked gaudy in my mind. It reminded me of those felt dog paintings where they're all playing poker. So I scrapped that, brought in the black glitter paper, and I think this is a winner. I just think it's so pretty. Now the only difference I think is going to be because this new deck of cards is blue. And I, oh, there it is. I'm not sure that I'm going to do the same colorway this time, but how many people are gonna overthink it like I will? Anyways, let me show you the inside of this. So I have used the Pattern Play bundle, and that is the letters. And then I've also used one of the new embossing folders in the new mini catalog, just in behind. And then did, I cut my letter, you know what? I'm not gonna explain it all, I'm just gonna get into it. Now I will tell you that because this is a tight fit, I put a ribbon around this, it's much easier to put in than it is to take out, but I think as the cards get used, it will get easier. So I've got one of the Joker cards just adhered in the bottom. And then this, I've just got this taped to, like I've got adhesive on that other Joker card. So let me stop explaining this and let's get to the crafting. But before I do that, July 31st is my three year anniversary with Stampin' Up! And to celebrate, I want to give to you so if you place and this is only within canada if you place a 50 dollar order before end of day on friday july 31st using my current host code and that, that will be in the description below i'll also pop it up on the screen here you will get these two new embossing folders and these are in the new mini catalog Unfortunately, I can't show you what's in here yet. If you need a copy of this catalog, let me know and I can get one in the mail for you. But these are the wrapped in texture embossing folders. They're part of the heartwarming hug suite, which is this lovely suite of products. So this is all the DSP. These are the colors and then there's two different ribbons in there. This is a free download on my website. You can go to stampedaf.ca and look for the mini catalog DSP sampler sheets and then you just print out the blanks and then cut up your DSP, put in your little color swatches and you've got this great resource. Okay so this is free with a $50 order. If 
you place a $75 order, you are going to get a full package. I just have samples at this point, but you will get a full package of the black glitter paper, which I've shown you, we're using it on today's project. You'll also get a full package of the iridescent pearls and oh, OMG, they are beautiful. Look at this. So these are all part of one of the new Halloween bundles, but you could use them for anything. And I will tell you that there's some poinsettias in the new catalog that look amazing with this paper. So $50 order, $50 order, $75 order, and this will be the full pack, promise. And then if you place a $100 order, you are getting the Christmas Means More stamp set, which has four great quotes from some Christmas movies. So this is Polar Express, um, how the Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, It's a Wonderful Life, and Elf. And it's just so cute. And then, because there's bells in here, you're also going to get a package of the Jingle Bells. So, $50 order, $75 order, $100 order. And if you order $150, you're going to get all three. Isn't that awesome? So, I will, like I said, I'll put that host code on the screen it'll be in the description below and you can place your order anytime before end of day on friday july 31st 2020 so let's get on with this we are going to take one of the new rectangle tins and they come in a box of four so rectangle tins And I had done a sample earlier to show these two patterns of the embossing folder. So instead of embossing another piece, because this is the piece back here, we're just gonna use this one. And I was so excited making this that I haven't written down the measurements, so I'll be measuring as we go. So that's why there's a ruler out. Okay, so we're gonna open up these cards and luckily the jokers are on the bottom. I did think about changing up the color code, but the color code, uh, the color scheme. And then I thought, you know what? I'm overthinking it. Like, is anyone really gonna care if this is a blue deck that's gonna have red on it? I don't think so. And there's no blue, like we've got hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. So I don't really have, I mean, I guess we could do, maybe we could do a diamond. Let's give it a shot, shall we? So I am gonna have to emboss another thing and then we will do this in black I guess even though they're hearts but I wanted you to see both I think this is going to be the one for my parents and this one will probably be for us or you know what I could do it as a giveaway it's going to be a little tricky to ship probably so I'm going to start by putting just the black and white joker on the bottom so I hope you don't play any games that you require a joker. If you do, then just put a little scrap of cardstock down instead. I am using the seal plus, not just the seal. I feel like the last box was maybe stretched a little. And they are a little pliable, just as long as it still closes. Okay, so now the next joker, we are going to grab some ribbon and if we're sticking with a blue theme here, then I think what I will do, we've got a couple of different blue ribbons we could use. I'm kind of thinking that the misty moonlight would be nice, the denim would be good, the seaside, there's so many great ribbons. So what we're going to do is just take that piece And maybe I'll keep it so that you can see. Eh, doesn't really matter. We're gonna put a run of the stamp and seal plus on the back of that. And then we're going to put our ribbon on it. And you could use tear and tape if you don't have the seal plus. I'm going to turn those over, shuffle if you want. And this does loosen up a little bit as you start pulling the deck out. I would do it as a bow, not as a knot, because you do want to be able to free these cards. Although you can see how much this one stretched. And this one I'm using the sheer real red ribbon and it, it was tight when I first started. So just adjust your tails, adjust the bow. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
but make sure that you leave yourself enough ribbon that you can tie bows repeatedly. And then we're just gonna drop those in. I find it's easier to drop them in on one side and then to pull them out, this is where that ribbon's gonna stretch, but you can just pull it a little bit and I promise as, as you use it more and more, it will get easier. But it is a tight fit to begin with. So that part is done. Now, I vaguely remember the measurements, but not entirely. Two and three eighths by three and three quarters. So that will be some misty moonlight. Okay, and because this is rounded, you're definitely gonna want a corner rounder. I am using the delicate trio punch, detailed trio punch. It seems like there's so many things that have delicate and detailed that I just, I can't keep them straight. And we don't have to emboss this piece. It was just because I had that one hanging around. So if you want to emboss it, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. So we can leave that. And then I'm thinking maybe we'll do some silver in here for the, you know. <laughs> Grab some silver foil. I'll measure that piece. Three and three eighths. Two and a half by three and three eighths. And we're going to round that one as well. Two and a half. Three and three eighths. Because I know it can be difficult to recreate them when you're watching a video. I know I like to be able to watch a video to recreate something, but I like having the written instructions as well. And I have recently discovered I really don't enjoy blogging and it's not something I have to do all the time. There are certain times where I have to, so I'm avoiding it where I can. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to take that and smooth any of the rough edges. And now what I can do, I think we're going to emboss this piece and you'll, you'll see why. Now, with this one I'm going to do, hope your day is all full, is all fun and games. Trouble speaking and reading. Great. And I'm putting game on here, one, because who doesn't love a good game and a challenge, and two, because that's the name of the stamp set. Although most people reading this or receiving this as a gift are not going to know that. It's like, game on. I would love to know in the comments below what your favorite game is, cards or otherwise. We played crib when we were at my parents last and oh, my brother and I were partners and we kicked some serious butt. Oh, my thumbs have kind of a Bit of a tremor. Can't keep it still. And I know I've mentioned this before in other videos, um, maybe Facebook Lives, but my dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's and I'm terrified that that's what this is. Uh, although I've been told that it could just be a benign tremor. Someone told me they have benign family tremors or familiar benign tremors. But you know when you're really scared of something and you don't want to find out what it is? Yeah, that's where I am. I was using the purple tape. One is to keep the letters where I wanted them to be on here. The other, and we don't actually need those. We do need that. Actually, we're going to hang on to the A and the O because we need the negatives of those ones. And I'm going to peel this back very carefully because I didn't remove any of the stick before I started using this and I don't want it to peel the finish off of my foil. It's funny both times I've done this it's cut the tape at the E both times. So I embossed the bottom layer the last time I think we're going to emboss this one Although usually when you die cut, 
you end up with little lines. We're not getting so much of that this time, but I have an idea that I think is going to look really cute. But it does mean that we need that middle piece of the O and the A. I'm just gonna pop these back before I lose them. Look with, with the foil, it's hard to tell which is the die and which is the letter, the die cut. Okay. The beauty of these letters is many of them have duplicates. I wish the M did, but there's quite a few that do. Okay, so I'm going to grab the, um, I showed you those two folders. There's the one that has the dots, and then there's this one, which kind of, it looks like steel or something to me. You know that pattern that you see on like um, tools and things, workbenches? or um, cars, I want that on here. I think it'll just be a little bit of fun. So I'm gonna run that through my die cutting machine. Knock all those off there. If you know the word that I was looking for there, or the finish, if you wanna just pop it in the comments, that would be great. I will try to remember to Google it. I know what I'm thinking, but <laughs> the words are getting more and more difficult as days go by. So now we can just add a little bit of liquid glue to this. And you wanna make sure that you have around all the letters, you don't want it popping up. Kinda of glad I'm going with a different color scheme here. I think it'll give you some more options because card decks often come in red and blue, right? I don't know that they come in any other colors, but Sometimes I overthink. I think this is a little bit too wide. I had more of a border on the first one. I think we'll take a little bit off of both sides. And then we can re-round those corners. I'm just going to take off like an eighth of an inch. And if you're fine with the way it was, then you can just leave it, but you know me. I mean, maybe you know me. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope that you'll consider hitting that subscribe button while you're here. Catch a new video each and every week. I think I've missed one video on a Monday since I started doing them. Last week's was a little bit late due to technical issues and creative motivation. <laughs> okay, that's better. So now what we're gonna do is just put a little bit of glue where the O is and whoa, where that A is supposed to go. That's a little more than I wanted. So just line that up. You could skip this part, but I find that it looks better. It looks more complete. It looks like an O. And then to get the A, whatever that negative is, just pop the positive in there and then grab your little negative that is too much glue. And we're just gonna pop that in there, let it sit for a second, take that positive out and there we go. There's no guesswork. And you could do the same with the O. I figure with the O it was pretty easy to get it where it needed to be. And you could put the positives back in there, but I like that negative look for this. So let's pop this in there. You could cover the whole bottom. I did cover a little bit more footage on the first one. So there is the inside. You could leave it just like that and it looks very unsuspecting on the outside, but how much fun would that be? We wanna doll the whole thing up. So this piece for the outside is two and three eighths by three and a quarter, which I think is where I started on the last one, but I didn't end up seeing it through. So two and three eighths by three and three quarters. Um, I'm actually wondering if maybe the blue 
would look cute on that one. We will do the heart using the blue glimmer paper just to bring a little bit of sparkle in. This one won't be quite as sparkly as the red, but that's because we've got that black glitter paper on there. Now, before I go any further, I do want to take out, I want this to be a little bit glitzy. So what I'm going to do is take my champagne mist shimmer spray, and this is mixed with 70% rubbing alcohol. You fill it about two thirds of the way and then just put your drops of the shimmer paint in there, shake it up. And I'm going to spray mine off camera. I don't want it getting all over all of this. Spray it about a foot away. And because it's alcohol, it will dry right away. So there we go. I might do a little bit more. So there we go. We'll set it aside for a few minutes so that it can completely dry. And that'll give us a bit of the sparkly that we had on there. So now let's, we've got our cards. You could put dice on there too. I've got our cards. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. I think we're going to do silver embossing that will bring it all together. Use the Versa Mark. And because I just rubbed my hand on there to get rid of any debris. Use my embossing buddy. I like to give it a bit of a rock. There's a spoon. Now you can see there is some uh, shading and definition on those cards. I don't know that I want quite that much. So if you had stray powder on any other time you were embossing, you just take a dry brush and you brush it away. So I'm gonna do that just a little bit on that ace. I don't want it to be quite so distressed, I guess. the magic of watching it turn ever get old? I'm going to say no, it doesn't. Oh, those are my ribbon scissors. So I'm just going to fussy cut this, leaving just a small little border. You could crop it closely. There are our cards. And now I'm going to bring in a heart punch. And we'll use a little scrap of the balmy blue glitter paper, glimmer paper. It's so hard to keep them all straight. I'm just gonna cut out a heart, punch out a heart. That sounds violent, doesn't it? And I'm going to cut this apart. So now not only have I punched it, I've been cutting it. <laughs> because I want it to go beyond, like I want to be able to see it at the top and the bottom of the cards. That makes sense? So let's get that out of the way. And what I did was I just took a little scrap of cardstock. Actually, this little piece here will work. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to glue that down because I think my Stampin' Seal Plus just bit the dust. I'm gonna put that in the middle and that will keep the cards from dipping, but it will also help us to keep our heart lined up. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So 
So now I know that it would line up to that and it's not gone too far over. That makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna have it like that. It probably could have come down a little more. That's gonna be good. And then I will do just a little, just a little scrap of these hearts. I just need a couple. So we'll do those four on there. And I did use adhesive sheets when I did this the first time, but this after four little hearts. I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay, so we've just got a couple little hearts here. I did use the adhesive sheets on the red velvet ones because I was doing the whole spray of them and I'll be able to use these for something else. I don't know how often I would use blue glimmer hearts, but we'll see. So now we can glue these down. You could pop them up on dimensionals, but I figure the tin itself has enough depth. And also these are probably going to end up underneath something else, like in a games cupboard or a drawer. So I wanted it all to be low profile. Now this time, instead of lucky me, because I have you, we're going to use, hope your day is all full. I did it again, is all fun and games. I see the word, I see how it's spelled, and yet I still, I can't do it. So I'm going to heat emboss this. I didn't think of that when I was putting this all together, but <laughs> I could have done my sentiment at the same time. But. And for this, I'm going to cut it down to three quarters of an inch. And I, for some reason, I find it's easier to trim these sentiment strips using a guillotine cutter than uh, my Stampin' Trimmer. I'm not sure why. So there is three quarters right there. Leave the length on it for now. And we'll take this is a new punch in the upcoming mini catalog so I'm just gonna run that through and it's got half inch three quarters and one inch slots that's a little bit longer than we need it so you can just keep punching until you have the right length so we can just pick that up pop it on there I just want to mention while I'm doing these last couple steps, if you recreate this project, I would love to see it. You can tag me on Facebook, Instagram. You can email it to me at stampdayf at gmail.com. I would love to see what you create. Now, you may notice on this one, I've got that little red velvet heart where the ace is. So I think we're going to do that on this one as well, because it kind of brings in the fact that we've got that um, balmy blue in the background. I don't know how well that's going to stick to the embossing powder. But we'll see if anyone can do it. Tombow can. And then we'll just add a little dot on here. And with little pieces like this, I like to use the putty end of my take your pick tool. That's kind of decided where it wants to be. And now we can just glue it on. And like I said, if you want to add dimensionals to give some dimension, that's totally up to you. But I wanted mine to be low profile. Now that I'm looking at this, I think this is probably half inch and three quarter inch. I've done three quarter and one inch on this one. I think I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to miss the whole bottom of the balmy blue heart. Also not liking the cut edge of that one. Ah. Do you ever find that creating the first project, like your sample project, is just so much easier than recreating it? 
like the first time around you were just you're having fun you're being creative and the second time it's like following rules not as much fun that way okay so we're going to cover that bottom ace i would suggest the half inch and three quarter inch this is covering too much but still looks cute right and then I am going to add, I use the Stamp and Seal Plus to adhere this. And since that's not playing nice, we're gonna use some tear and tape. I would not suggest Tombow on a tin like this. I don't think it would ever set. I think it would just keep sliding around. So we'll pull these off and then I'm gonna do some cross pieces, but I don't wanna trap my release paper under. Sorry, this video has gone so long. I will have parts of it sped up in the replay. But if you've made it this far along, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me reach more people and keep doing this. Also, don't forget my ordering specials this week if you are in Canada. Spend 50 and you'll get those, um, I think it's wrapped in textiles, wrapped in texture. Those two embossing folders uh, with a $50 order. With a $75 order, it's the black glitter paper and the iridescent pearls. And then with a $100 order, you get Christmas Means More and the Jingle Bells. And if you order 150 well, if you order 150 you really ought to be getting the starter kit. And if you want to join my team, I would love to welcome you. And we can talk about that if you have any questions. Uh, but if you spend 150 you will get all three levels. Oh my goodness, isn't this just so cute? So the only thing that's left is a little bow. I think we're going to use the Knight of Navy ribbon that is part of the Playing with Patterns ribbon combo pack. One, because it's nice and thin in the same way that the playing with, um, sorry, not playing with patterns, that the pets trim was, and it won't detract from anything else. Adds a little something without taking away. This piece is way too long. I would have loved to have a little piece of silver ribbon, but there's nothing that's quite, quite right. I'm just gonna waste the ribbon. Please don't judge. It's easier to tie it in the middle. our little tails, put a glue dot on there. And in the comments below, tell me which one's your favorite. Do you like the red or the blue? And just know that the reason we did the blue and silver was because that is the color of the deck of cards, the other one. I mean, I think this is always going to be my favorite, always, forever and ever. I think this one will be my favorite because it's the first one I did, and it's just so stinking cute. But let me know in the comments if you like this one or the other one. I do think that the, that black glittery paper really brings something to it. I feel like we're missing something over here. We could put a couple of gems, but again, that's going to add depth and dimension that I didn't necessarily want but please let me know which one's your favorite and again thank you so much for watching and please consider hitting that subscribe button and we'll see you again soon my crafty friends bye